Welcome back, guys. This is the seven month update of our 28 way glass coatings longevity test. We have a few unusual things going on with this test, as you'll see here in just a minute. Specifically, the two coatings last month that we called failed, maybe not completely failed just yet. I think this is one of those tests that I really didn't think was gonna last super long, but here we are. And in my experience, some of them just don't. We were primarily using IGL and Aquapel in our shop on client vehicles. And while we've had issues with IGL and their glass coating being short-lived, Aquapel seems to last, but man, is it a pain to install. So we've been playing with some of these on client vehicles installing them at no cost as long as they give us feedback on it, for example, as well as applying these to our personal vehicles and my enclosed cab tractor that I use out here on my farm. A quick reminder, if there is a product you want to see tested in the future, let me know in the comments. If you would like to purchase any of these products, please consider doing so through the links in the video description, as 100% of the money this channel makes goes right back into buying more products for testing. So now we're going to go ahead and foam everything down using Chemical Guy's Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse them, foam them again, wash and then of course rinse everything off to inspect the hydrophobic properties before drying everything off so with that out of the way let's see how things are looking system x and shatter x both have been pretty strong for performers ceramic pro lasted less than a month glosset still looks like it's doing all right nano cotex little weak glass parency looks like it's doing okay nano cotex k2 Looks like it's doing all right. And G Technic, also okay. There's IGL, DPC, CarPro, and Drexler. All of those had failed in a, just a couple months. NGNT and Carbon Collective looking very good. Carbon Collective looks very hydrophobic, as does NGNT. That is a product that is from Switzerland that will be entering the US market as something else, and I don't know what it is yet. Griots, so that's one of the weird ones. See, we marked it failed last month and it's mostly there now. So I don't know what's going on. Never wet, Gion, Meguiar's. Gion looks very hydrophobic. Meguiar's does too. Pearl Nano looks all right. Rain-X, it's another one that we marked failed last month and see, there's, there's a little bit coming back. Aquapel, still very hydrophobic. Nexet from Germany, also hydrophobic. Adams, liquid glass guard, armor all. You know, Armor All has been a pretty impressive product. That's like $4. You can buy it at Walmart, elsewhere. It's uh, It's been pretty impressive. And I'll show you here in a minute. I did put it on part of my tractor, and it's still hanging in there. Adam's two-part, also still doing okay. So just beyond half a year, and a lot of these are still doing very well. So it'd be the equivalent of on your side or back windows, not your, not your windscreen. So we'll go ahead and dry everything off, and then I will show you how things are looking on my tractor here. So on this side, we have Griots. And you can see we're on the test, it was doing pretty well. And it's pretty similar here. This tractor, it's parked under an awning. So it's still exposed to some of the rain and everything like that, but it's primarily dust. I do use it in the rain, chemicals. And on this side is Armor All. You can see that there is a spot there that's starting to fail. But again, we could probably just spray some more on there, wipe it, and it'll be good to go again. That's probably the most impressive product for me just because of how easy it is to use and it's only $4. So again, if it starts, starts getting weak, just throw some more on there. I mean, it's super simple. There's my update this month, seven months. Let me know in the comments if there's any other products you wanna see tested. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. What? <laughs>